Okay, what's going on guys? I'm trying to knock out some single episodes for y'all. I don't know. This is not this is probably not going to be a double upload, so you guys know it's music week, so I'm not trying to oversaturate myself with TV shows. I told you guys that there will be episodes, but I don't want you guys to be expecting double uploads, okay? We will return to double uploads next week, okay? Um, so this week I want to concentrate on doing music, getting out all the reactions, um, pretty much from music that have been requested. I'm going even back, I'm going to the discord to look for music reactions and stuff like that. And requests have started to come in again. So I have to do those. Okay. So, um, yes, the walking dead season two, episode three is here today. So last time. We found that Mr. Garrett is back and, you know, they finally revealed that they're actually cannibals, you know, as I suspected before, you know, so um, they ate one of Bob's legs. Yeah, that happened. and It was gross, <laughs> you know, so um, so, yeah, and they're right outside where um, Rick and Daryl is. Or this priest at this church, or this pastor, whatever you want to call him, and um, Daryl and um, what's his name? Daryl and Carol has gone chasing after the car that kidnapped Beth or took her. Don't know if it's a kidnapping situation or the person was trying to save Beth. We don't know. So we're gonna jump into this episode. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. So, yeah. So I just spent the last five minutes um, streaming my entire review. Yeah. <laughs> for the two episodes. Yeah. Uh... I don't even know <laughs> what to say now because I just did my entire review on stream with absolutely mistakes. It's the second time I pressed the stream button by mistake today, but I realized it faster the last time. I was actually reacting to an episode of Spartacus when that happened. So, yeah, this time around it was for the review. Oh my God. So let me try to see if I can do this another, <laughs> another way, another time. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it <laughs> again. <laughs> well, second time for me, maybe first time for you. Cause you probably watched the stream anyways. Um, yeah, so we have the two storylines going on now. Um, so in episode four, we got to see what Beth was doing. Uh, what happened to her so she happened to be came up on this hospital where they're doing some things and you know some things you're gonna agree with some things disagree everybody trying to survive she's back in atlanta of all places right um in a city hospital i'm guessing as so she's there found out how she got rescued is these two factions that are fighting. It seems like some cops and some other cops. It seems like this dude is raping women and this woman, Dawn is making this shit happen. It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't explicitly said what was going on, but you can kind of pick up that that's, it has something to do with that. Um, so this lady, she escaped. It seems like she got bit. And, um, she, they had to cut her arm off. They didn't really give her a choice, really, to be honest. They didn't really give her a choice. Um, so yeah, she's in this situation where she's talking to this doctor and this doctor is telling her, listen, man, we're making do, you know, um, it, only to find out that this doctor is also playing a game. You know what I'm saying? Like he's also out here doing things he don't want to do. But that's the time we live in. And, you know, they keep talking about choice. And everybody still has a choice. No matter what, even in this apocalyptic world, you still have a choice. You can choose not to kill and be, and be killed. 
but you chosen to kill because you want to live you want to live to see the new, the new world or what the outcome of this will be right we you know i would want to so if i have to kill some walkers you know and that's what we have to do if if as humans you're gonna come up against me and it's kill or be killed you bet your ass i'm gonna try to kill you before you kill me i'm not gonna sit down you get what i'm saying that but and all in that is a choice i'm choosing to do that because i could just stand still and let you kill me but i'm going to choose to fight back okay so when certain people in the show say they didn't have a choice um when you choose to kill that's a choice you made i hate the, the when people say they don't have a choice because you're making it seem like there was no other option when there was you know what i mean you know what i mean so um when it comes on to the situation with noah noah getting out i think that it's a character that's going to come um that they introduce into the series i think he might come upon daryl um now that we know that carol did arrive at the end of the episode into the hospital what are they going to do you get what i'm saying but at least she'll know that beth is safe because it doesn't seem like carol carol is going to to pull through but i'm also wondering who did daryl bring in at the end of episode three who did he bring in like who did he tell to come out you get what i'm saying so i'm still thinking that they're showing what happened with beth before right um before everything went or was happening simultaneously while they were dealing with garrett and them in episode three um and of course we got to talk about episode three and the church massacre you know what i'm saying not really a massacre but more like you know bow down <laughs> you know what i'm saying neil <laughs> says the one and only rick grimes man so this is those becoming one of my favorite characters ever in tv shows i would have to say he's up there in my top five right now i'm not even gonna lie to you as main characters go he's one of the best that i've ever seen so He's doing a great job in all particular sections of what an actor should portray and also playing in playing is his part in everything that's going on and being a, a great leader, not all the time, but for for the most part, he is a great leader. So we lost Bob, of course, um, he'll be missed, probably not by me but by the characters in the show the reason why i say that is because he was only here for what i want to say not even a really a full season of the show you know what i'm saying he, I, you know and the first taste we got of him wasn't a great one he he started to become more and more familiar with the group and better you know what i'm saying after the whole prison thing um after they left the prison and stuff like that it became a little bit more palatable um, for his character so I definitely like the fact I like where they were going with his character but if you go back and check my reaction when when we thought he got bit right you see that I made a certain face because I was like ah nah bullshit we need to check on that but I didn't say anything because I was I, I was thinking in my head no you got bit and you're hiding it but I didn't say anything because I was like okay he said you know what I'm saying he got bit on the, the the bandage or whatever so i was like okay cool you know what i mean but it turns out he was actually lying and then and then the cannibals return again they tried to attack the church but they were tricked rick came in bada bing bada boom took him out you know what i'm saying albeit in the house of god i'm glad that they corrected that and said no it's just four walls with a roof at this point in time and the thing about it is that when people talk about um when people say that i always say if god is everywhere why are we trying to why are we trying to enclose him in 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 <laughs> these walls i just don't understand yes it's a meeting place for worship i can understand that but that doesn't mean bad things don't happen inside of these walls or bad things shouldn't take place inside of people have sex at church people have had sex at church i think a husband and wife should be able if they want to do it in the bathroom they could go in the bathroom and do it people people a lot of people will look down on that i'm like what's wrong with that you get what i'm saying it's spontaneous enough you think god is gonna be like oh no they're having sex this is a sacred place listen guys 
<laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, my belief is just a little bit different than other people's. That what I believe is punishable um, or, you know what I'm saying, or not punishable. You know what I'm saying? So I just have a different belief on that. But anyways, guys, um, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen from here on out. It's good setups for the show right now. Season 5 is looking very good for episodes in. I'm all for it. Um, so thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment in the comment section, and also subscribe if you're new. We out here, man. You know I love y'all. Thanks. I'm out.